The second day, we arrived at Banff. It's a July first, which is Canada Day. It celebrates anniversary of Canadian Confederation, which occurred on July first, eighteen sixty-seven, with the passing of the British North America Act, eighteen sixty-seven, where the three separate colonies of the United Canadas, Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, were united into a single dominion within the British Empire called Canada. So people in the Banff this day celebrate together in the town of Banff, show their patriotism. The first thing we do today is to visit Johnston Canyon. Carved steeply into the limestone bedrock by thousands of years of water erosion, the dramatic Johnston Canyon is a breathtaking natural attraction in Banff Na- National Park. Overhanging canyon walls, waterfalls, the deep pools of Johnston Creek. And the lush forest are sure to leave a memorable impression, which definitely is the case for us. Johnston Canyon is one of the most popular destination in Banff National Park, and for good reason. It is a place of dramatic natural beauty, accessible to most. It is particularly popular during the summer and at certain times. Of the winter, certainly somebody is showing patriotism in Johnston Canyon on this Canada Day. After finishing Johnston Canyon, we drove along the Icefield Parkway to visit 
Bow Lake and the Bow Glaciers. Bow Lake is approximately 30 minutes north of the Lake Louise, just off the Icefield Parkway, which, by the way, is Highway 93 in the Canadian Rockies, and about a half mile north of the Crowfoot Glacier. The elevation is about 1920 meter, which is uh, 6300 feet. It is one of the largest lakes in the Banff National Park, fed by melt water from the Bow Glacier and the Wapta Ice Field. The lake lies at the base of the Bow Summit, which is perfectly reflected in its aquamarine waters on a calm day. It is absolutely great place for a picnic or a short stroll. You can see the beautiful reflection of the mountain and glaciers, absolutely breathtaking. Next place is Peto Lake. During the summer, a significant amount of glacier rock flower flow into the lake from a nearby glacier, and these suspended rock particles are what gives the lake a unique bright turquoise color. Because of its bright color, photos of the lake often appear in illustrated books. I hope you can enjoy that. Uh, Certainly, I did enjoy it. It's beautiful. And the different time of day is different color. And lastly, we saw the Bow River. And uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. We had a very pleasant day and memorable.